Okay, so you share quite a powerful and vivid story about how much chicken the average bodybuilder consumes or would need to consume. <laughs> what does that actually look like? And can you share um, that story and paint this picture for us? Because you do it yeah. in a great way. Yeah, yeah. As you know, I'm a, I'm a numbers guy. Um, I really like to take a look. Because, I mean, numbers don't lie, plain and simple. That's why I like them. It's very cut and dry when it comes to numbers and, mm -hmm. and crunching them. So. I thought to myself, what impact does one person make whenever they eliminate animal products? You know, not only on their own health, but on the environment as well. And like I mentioned earlier, bodybuilders tend to consume about like two to three times more than an average person. So the standard for bodybuilding is you need to get at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight sometimes up to two grams of protein per pound of body weight. So for me, I weigh 180 gram, I mean 180 pounds. So that would mean by those standards, I would need at least 180 grams of protein all the way up to 360 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. That's so protein. for simplicity's sake, I thought, what would 180 grams of protein look like if I were to only consume protein from a chicken? because that's one of the most standard bodybuilding staples of any bodybuilding diet is chicken. Well, it turns out uh, a chicken weighs um, about four pounds. And I think at the usable meat, I, I forget the exact number, but it would have ended up being that I would have to have at least eaten a full chicken a day uh, to make to meet that 180 gram, which is the low end of the spectrum. It's a one gram per pound of body weight. So one chicken per day to meet my protein requirements as a bodybuilder. Now, if you extrapolate that and you eat one chicken a day for 365 days a year, that's 365 chickens that is being used to feed one bodybuilder. Now, there is also a very inefficient conversion rate between the amount of calories and resources it takes to raise a chicken right. than the amount of calories and resources that the chicken produces for us to consume. So it's almost like five to one and sometimes like up to six to one. It takes six times more resources to produce the same amount of calories from the chicken. So if you think about 365 chickens, how much that is, and then how many, how many resources it takes to raise those chickens. That's a heck of a lot of resources. It's a heck of a lot of water. It's a heck of a lot of grain. So, heck of a lot of cruelty. A heck of a lot of life, mm -hmm. right? So, and that's an alone in the spectrum. So imagine doubling that seven hundred something chickens. Um, that's just, you know, their life had to end just for me to build muscle, and it doesn't. And get doesn't, heart disease down the road. <laughs> yeah, I mean potentially. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it didn't seem logical to me. And then on the flip side, you have. Uh, let's say a plant-based bodybuilder who is getting the same amount of protein from plants and it is requiring far less resources. And I mean, yeah, those, I mean, plants take resources too. They water and, and land and space and everything, but it's far less than what it takes because those lands that would be uh, fed to humans are being fed to the chicken and then being fed to humans. So it's like, if you cut out the middleman and go straight to the source, you eliminate a lot of the other resources. So, I mean, just strictly by eliminating those those food sources from your diet, you are making far less of an environmental footprint. And also from a cruelty perspective, you are reducing significantly the amount of suffering um, that is happening in the soil.